Welcome. This beautiful cactus is Escobaria Hendricksoni. I should have made this video a few days ago when there were more flowers. You see, these are the remainings of flowers from last week. But I was hoping there would be more flowers at the same time. And now these two flowers opened and now I'm afraid that there might be no more or there will be opening just uh, one stem at a time and I might not be able to make a video about it as beautiful as it is, as it is in bloom at all. So we have only two flowers and it's up to your imagination and my imagination as well to visualize this this cactus covered with blooms everywhere. You might notice that there are those dark, dark spots here, dark spikes on, on the stems here. And these are the flowers, the, the seed pods from last year. I don't remove them. I just think they look nice the way they are. Also, these will change into seed pods and they will be visible uh, as well next year or even this year for that matter. This cactus is very similar to, to Mammillaria. It grows in the same way. The growth pattern is about the same as Mammillaria's. There are no vertical ribs, there are crisscrossing ribs which um, uh, create a pattern on the stems. Uh, and also the flowers are quite small and they are around the center of the stem. In order for this cactus to bloom, just like for other cacti, it has to be kept in a very cold place during winter time. By very cold, I mean between 5 and 10 degrees Celsius. And it has to be kept very, very dry. And that's how this cactus is kept in winter time. I keep it in the basement. I have windows in the basement, so it's not kept in total darkness. However, as it is not growing during the dormancy period, it doesn't really require light. It could have been kept in a dark place easily and it would survive. However, if it is kept in a dark place during its dormancy, it has to be put into light gradually. It can't be put right from the dark spot to full sun because otherwise it would burn. And that's what happened last year. Even though I didn't put it from total darkness to the, uh, to the bright sun, I put it from not very well lit basement outside on a very, very sunny day, and it didn't like it. I should have done it gradually. And that's what I did this year, and the cactus is growing much much nicer this year as it did last year you might see there is a there is a you might see that the cactus is is narrower here so this is where uh, it was taken outside last year and it didn't grow that nicely just because it needed to recover from the shock of the of too much light and then after they are accustomed to after a certain period they can they can be they can be kept in full sun for the entire summer so this is about it this is what i would like to share with you about my escobaria hendricksoni it is one of my favorite cacti i must say it's compact it is small and it blooms very nicely i hope you like it too Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a good afternoon.